All right, let's get to some other news now. After a court ruling earlier this week against their effort to prevent demolition of the Great Northern Grain Elevator, preservationists were back before a judge today in another attempt to keep the Buffalo landmark from being torn down. The latest now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Well, things did not go exactly the way a lawyer for the preservationists hoped they would. However, he says they have not given up the fight. The grain elevator, which hasn't been operable for 40 years, sustained damage in the windstorm of December 11th, when much of its northern wall collapsed, leaving a gaping hole in the side of the 125-year-old landmark. Here, Justice uh, Emilio uh, Koliakovo ruled on uh, Wednesday uh, that the city uh, did not err by uh, issuing the emergency uh, demolition uh, permit uh, to the building's uh, owner, Archer uh, Daniels Midland, uh, thereby lifting a temporary restraining order that had prevented its destruction. Today, the preservationists who've appealed the decision decision asks for another order, preventing any demolition for just a bit longer until they can get their case before a justice of the state Supreme Court's appellate division, possibly as early as Monday. Because it's very possible that the, the demolition work could be done over the weekend. They have the equipment out there. If, if, the, building, if the walls all come down, uh, then there's nothing to appeal. Uh, we don't we don't anticipate that that is going to actually be the case. A lawyer for ADM said the only way these walls are coming down this weekend is if they fall down by themselves, indicating the actual demolition could take months and they've not yet even fully set up for it. Uh, this is going to be a methodical uh, demolition and uh, that's the kind of pace that it's on. After hearing from both sides, the judge said he heard nothing to convince him to grant another stay. Meanwhile, back at the site and just hours prior to today's court proceeding, a crew arrived whose job it is to map out underground utilities and issue a dig ticket, one of the first steps ADM needs to take in order to begin the demolition. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.